Oi fellow comrades, it is Squid Tart here and welcome back to another college football pick and we're already to week three and uh, we've had some quite shocking results as you can tell by the uh, the current record I've got in my pickums. So in case you don't know, the pickums are entirely based on my off-season predictions, which means that <coughs> excuse me, which means that teams um, that I think are going to be really good at the start of the season and they wound up being really bad, I can't go on later and change those picks or pick a different result. So it, it's going to make things very interesting once we get to the midpoint of the season and a team that is actually really good, which I thought was going to be bad, faces off against the team that I thought was going to be good. That ends up being doo-doo. But anyway, with that all being said, let's go ahead and roll into the next set of pickems for today. My current record right now is 95 and 16. That's 85.6% of my picks I've gotten right. So, not a bad record so far. I'm trying to hit at least the over under on 75% uh, of picks correctly. But as we get into conference play this week, it's going to be real interesting to see how that plays out. So let's go ahead and waste no more time and roll into the next set of games. We got 51 games to cover. And just like the last few weeks, we still got some, you know, matchups that don't really matter. Beth and Cookman in Miami. I picked Miami to win. They're ranked now. Good for them. So I picked Miami to win there. Maryland and Virginia. Maryland, a 14 and a half point favorite. I picked Maryland in the offseason. I'm still sticking with that pick. They look like the way better team right now. Virginia is just off. They lost to James Madison last week. Maryland had a huge comeback over Charlotte. I think they're in a pretty good spot. So give me Maryland to win that one. Florida State and Boston College. Well, this one kind of it's one of those where it's just like almost an FCS team. Boston College is not very good. And Florida State right now is on top on the mountaintop. They're 25 and a half point favorites. I, I, I'd almost pick them to cover that uh, based on how good they're playing. So give me Florida State there. Penn State and Illinois. Uh, Penn State is a 14 point favor over the Fighting Illini. They're traveling on the road to play them. Illinois uh, kind of got destroyed by Kansas last week. They tried to come back, but it wasn't a good enough comeback for them. Uh, as for Penn State, well, they look like a really, really good team right now. So give me Penn State to win that one still. LSU and Mississippi State picked LSU in the offseason. <clears throat> the spread, I believe, has gone down for this game. Mississippi State is undefeated. LSU is not. They lost to Florida State in week one. They put on a huge performance against Grambling yesterday, uh, last week, though. So maybe their offense has recovered, but we're sure to find out this week. I'm still going to roll with LSU. I think I'll be pretty fine on this one. Kansas State and Missouri, number 15 in the nation, a five-point favorite over Mizzou. Both these teams looking for, uh, you know, to be 3-0. and uh, I picked Kansas State in the offseason. I think they're the way better team still by this point. Missouri, um, you know, uh, let up a pretty bad performance against MTSU uh, last week. So in my mind, Kansas State looks like the way more dominant team. Louisville and Indiana. Louisville, a 9.5 point favorite over Indiana. Well, Louisville's undefeated. Indiana's not. They do not look good. Louisville, on the other hand, beat Georgia Tech in week one. They look to be at least a lot better than they were last season. So give me Louisville to win this one. They may not cover, though. It might be a close game. Georgia Southern and Wisconsin. Wisconsin on a letdown after the loss to Washington State last week. But they're still 19-point favorites going into this one. I picked them to win in the offseason. Come on, we, we all know they're winning that game. They got Luke Fickle, for goodness sake. All right, Wake Forest and Old Dominion. Wake Forest, 14-point favorites. I don't even know why there's a spread on this one. Give me Wake Forest to win. Long Island U and Baylor. Uh, appears I didn't put a winner for this one, um, but I'm I'm for sure knowing that I picked Baylor in the offseason, so uh, give me Baylor to win that one still. Uh, Iowa State and Ohio. This is kind of a shocking result right here. Only two and a half point favorites over a group of five team. Now, they are playing on the road, but still, that's kind of crazy. Either way, give me Iowa State. I picked them in the offseason. I'm going to ride with them. Utah and Weber State. This one, this one kind of speaks for itself here. Uh, Utah, by far the better team in this matchup. Give me the Utes. Same here, NC State and VMI. Both these teams, one and one, looking for their second win of the season. Uh, NC State is, well... Uh, a lot better, I think, than uh, VMI, so give me NC State to win there. Central Michigan and Notre Dame. Here we go. We got a spread for this one. 34 and a half point favorites Notre Dame are. They look really, really good this season. Central Michigan, on the other hand, not exactly the best team, so 
Yeah, give me the Fighting Irish to win this one. They may not cover, though. I don't know. Uh, do they still have Notre Dame syndrome? I don't know. We'll have to see. Georgia and South Carolina. So, Georgia, 27.5 point favorites. They've been just kind of cruising through their season so far. They've had two, you know, they've played two not very good teams. Now they get in a conference play here with the South Carolina Gamecocks coming to, down, coming to town. Excuse me. South Carolina. Um, what should I say about them? Well, they lost to North Carolina week one. And then, well, the Furman performance was not very good. They did not really, it, they didn't really impress anybody. So they may be in trouble here. Uh, chances are they are in trouble. They're facing the number one team on the road. But, you know, they beat them in Athens in 2019. Who knows? Anything can happen. But I picked Georgia to win here. I expect them to do so. Alabama and South Florida. Well, I expect Bama to come out angry in this one after the loss to Texas. They've been getting talked about all week, and they're going to get talked about for the rest of the week. They're going to have to hear all about it. They're 32-point favorites. You can probably double that, and they'll still cover. Give me Bama to win that one. Oregon State and San Diego State. Oregon State coming in as 24.5-point favorites over San Diego State. Uh, in my mind, I believe that they're going to win this one. I don't really think that they're going to have any trouble here. Oregon State's a pretty good team. Oklahoma and Tulsa. Well, is Oklahoma an upset alert? I don't know. They're 27 and a half point favorites. They struggled, like really struggled against SMU last week. Maybe that was a fluke. Uh, we're we're, we're going to find out here though. Tulsa, uh, they're having to travel on the road to play them. But in my mind, I think Oklahoma should take care of business here. Minnesota and North Carolina, the Tar Heels coming in as seven and a half point favorites. North Carolina looking pretty good. Uh, their defense, not so much. And Appalachian State, of course, again, gave them trouble last week. Uh, they went into overtime, actually. I think it was double overtime. But yeah, now they face undefeated Minnesota. Minnesota, not a bad team. P.J. Fleck, pretty good uh, coach. He's done a good job with this team. They're still, I mean, they're undefeated. They beat Nebraska week one. Uh, but either way, I think North Carolina should win here. I think they have the better offense and will probably lean on that throughout the game. Northwestern and Duke. So we still have some, uh, like, like the Minnesota North Carolina game, we still have some non con Power 5 matchups. Duke coming in as 18 and a half point favorite to put the whooping on Clemson in week one. And they don't look to be slowing down. On the other hand, Northwestern just picked up their first win in a year as they beat UTEP. Uh, I think that was actually Northwestern's first win in America since like three years ago. I don't know. It's crazy to think about. But either way, Northwestern, uh, I don't really think they stand a chance here. I think Duke goes in and, and takes care of business pretty well. Iowa, number 25, Iowa. It's a mystery to me how they're still ranked, but they're 28, 28 and a half point favorites over Western Michigan. Uh, they, they must really, really, really be low on Western Michigan because, uh, well, Iowa put up another offensive clinic last week. Uh, if they... In my mind, if Iowa does not cover this spread, they may be on rank next week the way they've been performing. But who knows? I, I think Iowa can take care of business here, though, pretty well. Pretty easily. Virginia Tech and Rutgers. When's the last time we've seen this Rutgers favored over a Power 5 opponent? I guess it's not too long. Uh, but anyway, uh, Rutgers coming in undefeated. Uh, Virginia Tech, not so much. Uh, the Scarlet Knights look, I guess, a lot better than they did before. They're going to have to rely heavily on their offense, I think, and they will do that in this game. Rutgers looks pretty good. Give me the Scarlet Knights to win. Western Kentucky and Ohio State. Ohio State coming in as 28-point favorites. I picked Ohio State in the offseason. No reason to think that they won't here either. They just, they just out-talent Western Kentucky in my mind. Texas A&M, 36 points, or 36-point favorite over undefeated Louisiana Monroe. Uh, is there any chance for an upset here? Very highly doubt it. Texas A&M by far the better team in this matchup. And well, they besides losing last week to Miami, which is bad news. You don't want to lose. Uh, the good news is that uh, Bobby Petrino and Jimbo Fisher seem to be getting along pretty well. Their offense seems to be running at least decently well. It's just a matter of the defense being able to do their job. So we'll see how it goes. But Texas A&M, I think, should win that one pretty handily. Idaho and Cal. How in the world is Idaho undefeated? Nonetheless, though, Cal actually put up a pretty good, well, <laughs> I say pretty good performance uh, against Auburn. It really, I mean, really the end result of that was like, it was like 14-10. I think there were a total of like three. There were there were more people watching the Miami game last week than there were uh, watching this Auburn-Cal game. But uh, anyway, Cal should be the winner here. They are by far the better team in my opinion. Washington and Michigan State. Well, uh, 
with all the uh, controversy going around with Michigan State this week, Mel Tucker pretty much getting fired. Uh, not necessarily getting fired, more like suspended, but with all the controversy going around, as well as being well under talented, uh, Washington should win this one pretty easily. I have them. I had them winning this in the off season. I guess that was a good call by me. Uh, Northern Colorado and Washington State. Well, Wazoo already it back in the rankings after that win over uh, Wisconsin. Pretty good win by them, but now they're sitting at number 23. I don't think they'll crush under the pressure yet. It's Northern Colorado, so give me Washington State to win there. NC Central and number 24, UCLA. No point really talking about that. Uh, UCLA should win that one very handily. UCF and Villanova. Again, it wasn't until this year that I realized that Villanova had a football team, so UCF should win that one pretty easily. All right, <laughs> how about this one? Tennessee and Florida. Well, I'll have more words on this later, of course, in my preview video and then my my, uh, my hate video on Friday for Florida and Billy Napier. <laughs> but Tennessee, of course, coming in as six and a half point favorites. I think the spread went down a little bit after Tennessee's shoddy offensive performance against Austin P. Florida, on the other hand, just got their first win of the season against McNeese and actually dominated them. So a lot of people are picking this one for the upset alert of the season, or at least so far in the season. Um, all I got to say is I think Tennessee wins here. Of course, I'll, I will have more words on this. I'll go much deeper in depth into this matchup. And uh, you won't have to worry about that for too much longer as I'll cover that one on Thursday. But yep, Tennessee... Uh, probably should win this game. Uh, at least that's what I'm thinking. Sanford and Auburn. Auburn undefeated. Sanford, not so much. I think Auburn should take care of business here. Roll over Sanford and get the job done. Northern Illinois and 11-point favorite Nebraska, who is still searching for their first season win. And they desperately need it. Northern Illinois, while they're not a very good team, could very well run into Nink, uh, Lincoln and grab a win over uh, Nebraska. But, you know... I don't want any Nebraska fans to get mad at me, so I'm just going to say that the Cornhuskers win here and take care of business like they should. Vanderbilt versus UNLV. Well, the Commodores are four-point favorites over UNLV on the road. I think if Van Vanderbilt desperately needs to win this one in order to make bowl eligibility. Had them winning in the offseason. Uh, I think they win here as well. And the way Kentucky and Mizzou are looking right now, it's very possible Vandy could find themselves with five wins heading into uh, the Florida game. So who knows? Who very much knows. But anyway, I think Vanderbilt wins that one and wins pretty handily, or at least I would hope so. Cincinnati and Miami of Ohio. Cincinnati, a 14-point favorite. They've Cincinnati so far has been a big surprise for me. I thought they were really going to struggle uh, so far throughout the season, but they went uh, in, They handled Pittsburgh pretty well last week. And, and in my mind, that means they should handle Miami of Ohio much better. So give me Cincinnati to win that one pretty easily. Oklahoma State versus South Alabama. The Cowboys coming in as a seven-point favorite. It's Oklahoma. I mean, it's South Alabama. Come on, let's be real here. Oklahoma State should take care of business with little to no issue. Tarleton State and Texas Tech. Well, Texas Tech looking for their first win of the season. They lost to Wyoming on the road in Week One, and then they put up a really good performance against the Ducks of Oregon. Uh, and Bo Nix, but that last pick six thrown really kind of threw them off. But either way, I think Texas Tech should grab their first win of the season here. It's Tarleton State. Come on, let's be real. I didn't even know that was a real thing until this season. Bowling Green and Michigan. This is the biggest spread we've seen in a while. Uh, Michigan coming in as a 40-point favorite over Bowling Green. Well, I don't even think... Has Michigan put up 40 points all season? I think they have, but... Um, Michigan should definitely manhandle Bowling Green. Let's be real here. Uh, you know, not really much to talk about there. Georgia Tech and Ole Miss. Well, Georgia Tech, uh, one and one right now. They put up a pretty good performance against uh, South Carolina State, but that loss to Louisville definitely makes me uh, lean a lot more toward Ole Miss as I did in the off season. Ole Miss coming in as twenty point favorites. I don't know if they'll cover that. I think Georgia Tech. I think Ole Miss still looked pretty good against Tulane, but their offense was kind of struggling a bit. So I. In my mind, I still think Ole Miss wins here, but they may and they may be on upset alert. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> BYU and Arkansas, both these teams undefeated, sitting at 2-0. Arkansas, a 9.5 point favor. How about Arkansas sitting there uh, that highly uh, rated over BYU? Well, they do have home field, <clears throat> home field advantage, which I do think helps them out quite a bit as uh, Arkansas 
not necessarily the best team in the SEC. I do think they can handle BYU. KJ Jefferson going to be really good in this game like he was in the last matchup. And, you know, they beat him on the road last year. I think Arkansas handles business, business at home this year. Akron and Kentucky. Kentucky coming in as a 25-point favorite. They looked really bad last week against Eastern Kentucky. In my mind, I think they need to put up a really good performance here in order for me to think that they're not losing to Vanderbilt next week. So in my mind, Kentucky, Kentucky definitely needs some work to do. It'd be the perfect time here. Either way, I think they win. Syracuse and Purdue. Uh, Syracuse now rolling into uh, Purdue to play this one. They're two and a half point favorites. They're undefeated right now. Uh, Purdue definitely missing Jeff Brom right now. They're one and one right now. <sighs> this is a really tough one. Uh, if you're if you're going to bet on any game, this is definitely not the one to bet on because this game could probably go either way. Uh, it was a really close matchup last year. It's going to be a close one this year. I rolled with Syracuse in the off season. I, I should probably just do the exact same thing this year. So. Give me Syracuse to win that one. Pittsburgh and West Virginia, the backyard brawl. Both these teams have already taken an L. They're sitting at one and one. Pitt as a one-point favorite. The spread might as well be even if we're if we're being serious here. But um, Pitt, um, I, I rolled with Pittsburgh in the offseason. In my mind, it's only right to roll with them again here. As uh, well, I do I do think they are the more talented team. I think they will uh, win in Morgantown and get the job done there. But we'll see. We shall see. Texas, look at Texas. Are they really back? Well, they're sitting in the top five, so I guess so. Twenty eight and a half point favorites over Wyoming. Uh, are they going to cover here? I think they will. I think Texas should manhandle Wyoming and win this game with little to no difficulty. Same with Hawaii and Oregon, 38-point favorites. The Ducks are. They should handle Hawaii with little to no issue. Stanford and Sacramento State, no spread on this one. Stanford, uh, not exactly the best team in the Pac-12, or at least what stands in the Pac-12, but it's Sacramento State. I think they should win this one. If they lose this one, I, chances are they won't win a game for the rest of the season. So, yeah, give me Stanford to win here. Florida Atlantic and Clemson. Clemson coming in as 24-point favorites. They looked uh, in a really scary position uh, last week when they played, um, was it Charleston Southern? And Cade Klubnick threw a pick six. It looked like they might be uh, struggling a bit. But, no, they handled business pretty well. And now they're going up against Florida Atlantic. In my mind, I think they should settle business here, get the job done, and beat Florida Atlantic. TCU and Houston, well, TCU had that disappointing performance against Colorado, but Houston had a way more, in my mind, disappointing performance against the food school. They lost to Rice uh, by two points. And uh, while they do have home field advantage, I do think TCU is the more talented team here. They're seven and a half point favorites. This one might be close, but I'm still going to ride with my offseason pick and say that TCU wins here. Colorado and Colorado State. Well, this was probably one of the only games I had Colorado winning, so I'm already 0 for 2 on Colorado. Uh, they're 22 and a half point favorites against their rival uh, in the state, so in my mind, I think they should win this one pretty handily. And I'm glad that I picked them in this game here, so that means I'll at least be right on Colorado for one week. Fresno State and Arizona State. Well, I roll. I, I went with Fresno State to win this one on the road. They're three point favorites. Um, it, it's weird that sometimes I do ride with a group group of five team, and usually when I do that, when it's a group of five against power five matchup, I always end up on the losing end. Say for uh, Tulane and Ole Miss, I pick Tulane. Ole Miss won the game, so if, if Arizona State wins this game, I guess it'll just be superstition then. I don't know. Who knows? Kansas and Nevada. Uh, Kansas playing really, really late. I think this is a 10-30 kickoff. feel kind of bad because none of their fans are going to be awake to watch this one. But the Jayhawks are 28-point favorites over Nevada, who is looking for their first win. It is a road matchup, so Kansas may struggle a bit, but uh, I do think the Jayhawks are the way better team, so they should handle business here and get the job done. And here comes our favorite playoff team, UTEP, 1-2, and two, uh, going up against Arizona, who are 17-point favorites over them. Well, <sighs> All jokes aside, UTEP's not a playoff team. As we know, they have two losses, which means that they can't make it. And UTEP was, I mean, they got whooped by Northwestern, probably one of the worst teams in the Power Five. Now they're going up against Arizona, who actually put up a pretty good performance against Mississippi State uh, last week. So they're definitely a way better team than I think people are giving them credit for. So I think Arizona should win this game pretty handily and get the job done. So there you have it. 
those are my pickems for the week. So I'm hoping to go undefeated, but we know how this stuff works. I, I, I ain't going undefeated. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have for today. If you all um, liked the video, make sure to give it a like and sub up to Squid Tart if you haven't already. And join that college football Discord server I've got in the description. We have a great time there during the season. Uh, hop on in there and uh, give, it, give a good old chat to the other people in there. It's a great, grand old time down there. So uh, until the next video, I shall see you all in the next one. And as always, power to Tardaria and go Vols too, because we're probably going to beat Florida pretty hard this week.